What's going on guys? King Shrats here back with another video on the channel and I don't know what I'm making today. I'm gonna level with you and if you think I'm joking, take a look at the blackboard behind me. Let me crouch down so I can get in the shot. I probably should have made that higher. If you don't know, I've started to plan my meals out. This is my basically my week worth of meals. I took an L on every single one of these. Check this out. The original plan. I wanted to make buffalo wings. I don't have sauce. I want to make Thanksgiving sandwiches. I don't have cranberry sauce. So in my handwriting, I have to translate for you. I was going to make beef and barley soup, but I don't have beef for the stew. I have pizza, but I don't have dough. I was going to make grits and eggs, but I don't have eggs. I was going to make waffles with it. I don't have waffle mix. Steak and rice I already made. Jambalaya pasta I made yesterday. We took an L on that. And a loco moco, I don't have eggs. <laughs> I need eggs twice. So I don't have anything that I was supposed to make, as you can see. So it's just a wall of L's going on. I'm going to put together something, and I don't know what I'm making. I have no idea what I'm doing. Again, I think I made another video like this. I'm going to take a look at my fridge. Oh, man. Uh, let's do it. But it's going to be really easy to put stuff together because I've already got something in mind. I got lucky again. I had biscuits that were spare because last week I made a non-fried fried chicken biscuit. So I lucked out on that end. Right, in the true spirit of not being able to decide things, I got Alfredo sauce and regular pasta sauce. This is going to be heads and this is going to be tails. Whenever I can't decide stuff, I always just use my coin app on my phone or my iPad and just see whatever fate decides. So here's my coin. You can see right here. Let's see what it lands on. Heads Alfredo, tails or other. That's a tail. Yep, we got a tail. You know how we get down with the freestyles. Sometimes I just gotta put stuff together and this is one of the things. I gotta go grocery shopping again tomorrow. I, I forgot so much stuff. Uh, my head is just, as you can see, but we make content, we move. If you're digging the content, go ahead and drop a thumbs up, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. We'll be back. Or sometimes my life is like an episode of Chopped. I've got, I'm not sure how many meatballs I've got, but I've got turkey meatballs, the Walmart joints um, that I have. I don't know how many of these I have. So I've got tomatoes. I've got a prom mix that I've got to make uh, because I bought that from the thing and it's going to expire. I've got, believe it or not, meatless meat. Uh, I bought this because I was like, oh, it might be a good thing to try. But I, I kept saying I don't really want it, <laughs> but I've got to use it at this point. So we're going to make a, a pizza casserole using these ingredients um, and some cheese and maybe some other stuff that I decided to throw in there. Let's get started. We've got mirepoix mix thrown down. We're going to sweat this down over the olive oil. I normally wouldn't even use this, but it's got to go in. i got to give it some salt, some pepper, some oregano over and throw down some garlic. Because I put garlic on freaking everything. This is no exception. We're just going to sweat these down. And then we're going to add... Uh, the meat crumbles. Yeah, that was the next. Things about using meatless meat. Look at all those minerals going on in there, man. Never would have thought it. Not bad. And the fiber. Fiber. We need that. Open these up. Wow, these are meaty. Look at this. They're meaty. All right, throw them in. <laughs> doing? Let's throw everybody into the pool. This actually smells really good. Diced tomatoes. Non-homemade turkey meatballs. Pasta sauce. Stir and simmer. Oh, man. I know why you guys think I uh, am 420. I'm not. We diced up our biscuits. We're just going to add a liberal all of this mixture and stir this up. I, I really don't know if this is going to work because these aren't the right kind of biscuits. I don't know if it's going to rise, but whatever. Okay, so I mixed it up. Y'all think I joke about this kind of stuff. I genuinely have no idea if this is going to work. These biscuits are different than the ones I normally make. I don't know if they're going to rise the same. But we're just going to throw it in the oven 400 for like 30 minutes and see what happens. And um, I think I'm going to add some cheese towards the end. This is not, this is premium content, folks. Let's see if it works. Let's hope so. Going in the oven. Oh, pray for me. Okay, it looks like it did rise to some sort of form, but we've got to make the cheese topping part. So what I'm going to actually do is add a little more sauce along the top. Like so. We're going to go all the way down this whole thing. I'm not going to show you the process because that's incredibly boring. We're going to make a nice little top and then add our cheese. We've got our pizza sauce going on the top. And all we're going to do is get a nice liberal cheese all the way across. I'm not going to show you that too. Why waste your time? So we got the cheese on the top. We got a little more basil and oregano uh, and pepper. No salt. I got enough salt going on within the biscuits and stuff like that. So I'm not going to add any more of that. Still on 400, we're going to go 10 more minutes in there until the cheese is kind of bubbly. It's fat-free cheese, so I don't even know how much it's going to bubble, but I think we got, we're working with something here. I'm just interested to see how it tastes with that phony meat going on, but we move. Let's put it in the oven. All right, and after 10 minutes, this is what came out. That's not bad looking. Now we just got to see what it tastes like, but in the fashion of not trying to burn my mouth again. Look at that cheese, though. It does look good. I'm going to let this cool for like 10 minutes. 
so I don't burn my mouth. But it smells really good. It probably tastes good. I would think it does, because it all depends on that meatless meat. Everything else in here is a W so far. So give me 10. Nice freestyle pizza casserole. I don't know what you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. It's going to be cheesy, and hopefully it's going to be good. Into this thing. You ready for this? All right, I like this edge. That's good. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Would you smash? That's pretty. There it is. 10 out of 10 chance. Do you see the steam that I burn my face or something? But we're just going to like bite off the top. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's hot. Oh, but that is good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to break it down for you. The biscuits were different in normally the casseroles that I use. Um, I usually use Grands when I use Pillsbury to make these. And these were like the flaky ones. So the texture's different. The bean fake meat, <laughs> which I, it's my first time ever having it. It adds something different to it. It adds like a flair because they're Chipotle flavored. So it doesn't just taste like traditional spaghetti or pizza or something like that. So you've got that buttery biscuit going with the creamy bean, but there's also those meatballs in there, so they're salty. And then, of course, the sauce and the ca the carrots and the celery, the mirepoix added in there, added that sweetness that people like in their pasta. I personally usually don't do things like that, but some people do add carrots instead of sugar because it cuts into the acidity, which makes this more taste and eat like a lasagna than anything. The only thing that's missing is rigolto, but I'm actually shocked at how good this is. And, yeah, it's good eating. It's high in health, though. But, I'm a fan. I'm going to have to buy some more of that meatless meat. Maybe I'll do, like, tacos or, like, burrito bowl with it or something. Because that, that's pretty good. Hmm. And you see the cheese rings. She's got nice and melty. Got the oregano and basil in there. Kind of add a little something at the end. I'm a fan. I'm going to go eat this. Hmm. Don't throw my hand again. My mouth, I should say. I can't even think because it's really, really hot. But I can't stop eating it, which is a good sign. Hmm. Let me stop. Okay. Freestyles as usual. It's Wednesday right now for me. So it's like Freestyle Wednesday. Maybe we'll just do Freestyle Wednesdays. I like freestyling. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. If you do like it, like, comment, subscribe. We'll have more content tomorrow. Tomorrow's content will be more of a mukbang thing. And we're going to go back and forth. Try to do cooking, try to do mukbangs, do all of the above. I'm still figuring out this content thing, but I'm talking too much. I love y'all. Hand signs. I made it to YouTube. I'm out.